The first battle of Bull Run. Intro. The first battle of Bull Run was on the day of July 21st, 1861. This battle was also called the First Battle of Manassas. The battle was in Prince William County, Virginia, near the city of Manassas. The First Battle of Bull Run was the first battle of the Civil War, just after the attack of Fort Sumter. This battle was between the United States, the Union, versus the CSA, or the Confederacy. The United States General was Irvin McDowell, and the Confederacy's generals were Joseph E. Johnson and P.G.T. Burgard. The battle route. In, this, in the morning on July 21st, McDowell, United States General, sent about 12,000 men in the divisions of Hunter and Heitzelman from Centerville at 2.30 a.m. southwest on Warrenton Turnpike, then northwest towards Sudley Springs, as you will see on the map of their routes. Tyler's division, about 8,000 men, marched directly towards the Stone Bridge. The inexperienced units immediately developed problems. Tyler's division blocked the advance, advance of the main flanking column on the turnpike. The latter units found the approach roads to Sudley Springs were inadequate, little more than a cart path in some places, and did not begin attacking Bull Run until 9.30 a.m. At 5.15 a.m., Richardson's brigade, brigade fired a few artillery rounds across Mitchell's Ford on the Confederate right, some of which hit Beauregard's headquarters in the William McLean house as he was eating breakfast, alerting him to the fact that his offensive battle plan had been found out by the Union. Nevertheless, he ordered demonstration attacks north towards the Union left at Centerville. Confused orders and poor communications permitted their execution on the job. Although he intended for Brigade General Richard S. Elwell to lead the attack, Elwell at Union Mills Ford was simply ordered to hold in readiness to advance at a moment's notice. Brigade General D.R. Jones was supposed to attack in support of Elwell, but found himself moving forward alone. Holmes was supposed to support, but received no orders at all, and so the battle started. Bull Run Aftermath the first battle of Bull Run was America's bloodiest battle up to this point. The first battle of Bull Run was America's bloodiest battle up to this point. Union casualties were 460 killed, 1,124 wounded, and 1,312 that were missing or captured. Confederate casualties were 387 killed, 1,582 wounded, and 13 missing. The northern public was surprised at the unexpected defeat of their army when an easy victory had been widely anticipated. Both sides quickly came to realize the war would be longer and more brutal than they had even imagined. On July 22nd, President Lincoln signed a bill that provided for the enlistment of another 500,000 men for up to three years of service in the Union Army. The reaction in Confederacy was more muted. There was little public celebration as the Southerners realized that despite their victory, the greater battles that would inevitably come would mean greater losses for their side as well.